Hi guys, in this recording I'm going to show you how to get a web browser which I think is one of the best for Android TV boxes. I'm going to be using the own 4K streaming box. Let's get started. Okay, let's first thing you do, you go on your remote where the mic button is at up on top, press and hold and say Google Play. Oh, that didn't work. Let's go back. Now let's try that again. Google Play Store. There you go. Now here, click search and type this address in. E-R-O-W and it's right there. TV browser. That's the app right there. Click on it. Click install. I believe this is one of the best ones. You can use the remote control perfectly to browse around the browser. Now let's click open here. Press get started. Now here's the interface of the browser. Here at home, these are the movies and TV shows, which you can see. There ain't the latest, but you have some movies and TV shows there. Then you have the news section. These are all the news section. Then you got your podcast, but you need a Spotify account. If you have that, you can log on here. Go back to home. Go to your right. Now here, if you have an IPTV subscription, you can put it here. And you can see your IPT subscription in the website. Ad blocker. Here, make sure the black ad blocker is on. These are your bookmarks where you can bookmark a website. History. Here's where you check your history. Here's the ninja mode. Here, you can read this here what ninja mode does. What it does basically is nobody can see your, your browsing history. And here's your settings. Here is where you find all your downloaded app. Legal information, ad blocker, make sure this is turned on. Your cookies. Now, if you turn this off, you have to sign in every time on each website. So I'll leave this on. Also, I'll leave JavaScript on. Some feature will not work. And now, if you want a dark mode on your website, you click this on here. Now I'm going to click it on. I like dark mode. And your language is here and about. Let's go back. Now here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into a website. Here, these movies you have to pay for. Now in this website, I'm going to type into, it has tons of applications in this store. This is a store that I use a lot. This is the address to the store. Now when you type in, in this address, you see that I typed link TR, right? So you got to be careful that you uh, type the same exact address that I give you. Now if you notice if I press the dot on here it changed it to ER. So now you go back go back to the X delete it and then type TR again. Press dot and now it's KP fire. Now click search. What? Let's go back. Let's go back and try again. I think I made a mistake when I first typed the website. TR. Let's delete this again. T R yes I think I made a mistake. Dot E E forward slash KP fire. Now click search. Now this app store. Now you see you get this uh, button. Press and hold. And now you can use the remote to go up and down. This app store has a lot of apps. It's got APK stores here. APK stores. Media players. Media player apps here. You got maintenance apps, cleaners, ad guards. You could check all these out, see if they work for you. You got anime, and after the anime, you got your movies and TV shows. You can try all these out. Now, some of these you may you might need a player in order for to play them. I'm gonna download movies and TV shows. The third one down. Which is the little bug with the wings. Can't say it here on YouTube. Click on it. Now you press continue. Press OK. Press allow. Press view. You can see when the download finish. Now press on the on the uh, folder button. Now this is going to pop up. Click on allow. While I'm here, let me click on this one to allow. Go back. And now you're going to see to install. Install. Now, th now this app. I downloaded it before and it asked for a player. 
You have to install a player. I'll show you how to do that. Press open. Press yes. Okay, let's check out one of these. Let's go down and press play. Let's click on the first link. Press play. Now you see, they asked for one of these players. Select one of these players. I'm going to select HB. Now as you see, it won't install. Okay, so what we do is we go back. Let's go back to the website that we were in. Now if you go down to the website, click back if you see that. Now you know we need HD, what was it, the HD player? HB player. HB player is right here. Click on it. Press continue. Press OK. Press view. Now it is installed. Now here goes the player. Press install. Now you see the player there. Let's click on. Click yes. Let's click on here. Let's pay. Now mind you, not all apps need a player needs a player to be installed, but some of them do. Let's click on this first link. Play HB player, and there you go, and it'll play. Now I'll click back. Press OK. Click back back now here you over here you can change you can get to movies here are the movies you can also go to settings click on settings you could hit you could log in with your real debit account if you have one and here's you could change the default tab when you open up the app you could change it from tv shows to movies you could choose your default you could change it Either to trending, popular, top rated. I like to leave it on. I go to popular. Also with movies, I go to popular. But you can leave it on trending if you like. Poster size, I like to bring it to small. It will show in small once you uh, reboot the app. And that's it. Let's go back. Press OK. And you're back home. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe or leave a comment if you don't like it. Bye-bye.